Hey everybody. Okay, we're uh, this is where we're at. Uh, I told you right after we got the sleeve hitch fixed. The sleeve hitch works great with all the dimensions. Uh, if you have something other than a a Bowlins, you may want to make the plate that pulls back the tractor wider, but everything else works fine. Uh, what happened was I tried to First of all, I ordered this. Well, I had this sleeve hitch. It's a 100, uh, 225 pound lift. It's not quite enough. Here, let me show you the operation. That's it. It's down. Going up. It's not enough. It's just not enough to do what I need to do. So, what I did was, I ordered this one. It came from China. It weighs about five pounds more than the other one does. This thing is uh, a 1,300 pound lift. If that thing won't lift it, I don't know what it is. Uh, originally, I tried hooking this one and down to there and to here and pushing up it wouldn't lift it off the ground uh, I'm going to go back to hooking this one up down there and uh, trying to lift it up with 1300 pounds it should tear the back end off of the tractor uh, this thing I'll just leave here I had to put that on and uh, extended that way down there well I would rather have the hitch if it hooked to the hitch itself instead of the implement uh, that way I could just leave it hang there when I'm not when it's not in use uh, right now I'm going to disconnect things and uh, see where we go from there thanks for watching we'll be back to you shortly bye hey everybody we're back again uh, we had to make some alterations to this thing I checked the John Deere out and the back plate on that was was about 10 gauge, which is a close to 8th inch steel. This is 22 gauge because uh, John Deere, you pay, I don't know, over $3,000 for. I paid $800 for this thing, so I guess you, you get what you pay for. Uh, with this linear actuator on there and lifting the box stress scraper, which is extended way out so you don't have much mechanical advantage, uh, this plate was bending down a quarter inch before it started to pick it up. So I put this bar in here, welded it here, welded it up the top onto the steel plate. I guess you can see it up in there. The steel plate that I put on there to reinforce the back end of it. Uh, like I said, if you have a more expensive tractor, like one of the high-end Husqvarna's or a John Deere, you're probably going to have more metal to work with and don't have to go through all this stuff. But we did, so uh, here's where we are right now. I just threw a coat of paint on it. When it dries, we'll get it together and see how it does. Thanks for watching. Be back with you shortly. Bye. Okay, I'm back. There's my trusty helper, Junior, there. Uh, we call him Junior because we got four dogs, and he's the smallest of the bunch. No, he doesn't have fleas. He's been treated. He's got allergies. And, uh, there it is. We got it on. You can see it's up off the up in the air. So for the loading, let me get a key and start it up because the battery's a little low in the tractor. And it was in the 30s last night. So.
take this thing down and park it. I'm getting really tired of looking at this. Oh, I forgot one other thing. Uh, when I mounted it down here, the, the hole in the linear actuator is three-eighths of an inch. I drilled the outside holes one inch. <coughs> Excuse me. And put fender washers on the outside. That's so when it's in the grating position, uh, there's a little uneven ground. It can uh, ride up and down over top of it without a problem. Oops, sorry about that. This linear actuator here, the 225-pound one, I'm not going to do it for a while because we're out of the season. I'm going to go up and grade that piece of property we have up there. But I'm going to plant that on here. And I'll probably hook that up so if you pull this pin, this thing rotates that way or this way for grading. Uh, I'll probably hook this on there uh, so it can just sit at the front of the tractor and flip a switch and she'll go from side to side. Okay, I think this is uh, pretty much all for this video. Uh, if you, if it appears to be a little broken up, uh, just bear with me. Hell, I'm 75 years old and uh, I'm allowed to be a little ditzy. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll talk to you again another day.